Hey, Aaron, how is how nice is it to see the offense get rolling early and give Domingo Herman a little bit of a cushion to work with? Yeah, it was really good. Um, you know, some good at bats there, kind of get us going and put a lot of pressure on on their guy in, in those first couple innings, and uh, you know, able to throw a couple crooked numbers up there and then able to add later uh, was definitely nice. What did you think of Herman tonight? Thought he was good. You know, the couple times he did get into a little bit of trouble, you know, he, he made a really big pitch, you know, a couple really nice double plays behind him. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I thought he did a really good job and, and was was on the attack, was was pitch efficient for the most part and uh, another strong outing. You mentioned the efficiency. Was there any temptation to put him back out there in the seventh? No, no. W you know, once we had that kind of lead and, um, you know, especially with, you know, he'll be going on his fifth day again the next time around. Just want to, you know, preserve as best we can. We go next to Eric Bolin. Aaron, if you had to zero in on the biggest difference in Domingo since he came back from the alternate site, what would it be? Not, not much, honestly. I mean, this is what we were seeing all spring long. You know, his first out in a year was a little wonky in that he had such a long inning and he gave up some runs. Um, so it was just kind of one off inning here. But I didn't think he was far off in his first couple of starts, frankly. And I feel like it's kind of been consistent with what we've seen since since we since we got him in February. Aaron, if you had needed them, would you have had either Stanton or Hicks available to you tonight? Um, <clears throat> probably would have stayed away. In, in Hicks's case, um, he's going to be going to the IL, um, and then we'll kind of decide the course of action moving moving forward from there. So, um, you know, he could have been in, he he would have been available in an emergency situation, you know, defensively or something. Um, possibly G if it, if it would have got real weird, you know, but I was doing all I could to stay away from both guys. Dan Martin, please, Aaron, just to follow up on Hicks, uh, is that, is he's definitely going on the IL tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. He'll be going on the IL. Is that, uh, did he just did the medicine? Did he not respond to the medicine? Is that what happened or what, what changed? He's doing better. Like it's, it's, you know, less pain and stuff in there, I, I think as a result of the medicine, but when he tried to swing from even both sides of the plate today, it, you know, it wasn't what you know, we were looking for and he was looking for. So what's, uh, is it still, you continue with the medicine and, and rest, I, I guess. Yeah, is we'll, that... we'll see the course of action now you know, over the next couple of days, you know, surgery is still certainly on the table, but, but, you know, it has, that hasn't been finalized yet either. We'll see how, but first step is he is going to go on the IL. And you'll, you'll want to bring up an outfielder to replace him? Uh, probably, but uh, we'll, we'll solidify that uh, post game tonight. Thanks. Yep. Oh, yeah. Can we go back to Meredith? <laughs> Aaron, I know through almost everything, you're overwhelmingly positive, but when you think about the prospect of potentially losing your starting center fielder for a long period of time, just how large of a blow would that be to this team? Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, anytime you lose one of your, you know, one of your key players, that's, that's a blow. Um, no question about it. And, and obviously when Hicksie's at his best, he, you know, obviously playing center field, a switch hitter in our lineup, which is, you know, balances us out a little bit, um, <clears throat> but you know it's also, you know, part of it. You're gonna you're gonna have some some attrition along the way, and you're gonna ha have some guys go down, and and it creates an opportunity for somebody else to step up, and that's that's, you know, you you always want to support support the guys that are going through it because I know you know how frustrating and difficult it is for Aaron to you know, not be able to go out and post and, and play the play the way he's capable of. And um, so you feel for that and you try and support him in that, but you also realize that it's an opportunity for somebody else to have a role and step up and, and add production to this lineup. If this would be worst case scenario where he would need the surgery, would that be a situation where he would be done for the season or would uh, there be a likelihood that he could make it back? Yeah, I don't know. 
that's kind of getting ahead of ourselves. I'm not sure the exact timeline if if he did go that route. Thank you. Yeah. Can go back to Dan Martin. And, and you're still looking at uh, Giancarlo as a day to day for now. Yeah, he's better today. Uh, I, I don't think he'll be in there tomorrow, but um, you know we'll see. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, Eric. Christy. Perfect. Hope you're doing all right. Thinking of you. Um, get well. All right. Get back to the ballpark. All right. See you.